Hello, brothers. I hope you are in good health. Recently, spy shots of the new Transalp is posted on Switzerland media, Actumoto.ch. It was a coincidence that the vehicle was caught when the Actumoto team participating in the Hard Alpine Tour which was held in Italy. The vehicle is clearly a new model, not the Transalp that has existed so far. There is no doubt that this is the new Transalp that is being talked about. So let's check this out. The radiator shroud has a large Transalp logo, which is the name of the bike, and the site cowl has 750 characters. It seems that the bike will be named as XL750 Transalp. The engine is a parallel two-cylinder, not a forward-tilting cylinder like the NC750 series, and a new one that is different from the CB500X series. In addition, a large aluminum engine protector and a small pipe guard are installed under the engine, and the compact muffler is surprisingly smaller than the Africa Twin. There seems to be a clutch wire, so at least the vehicle in the photo does not seem to have a DCT. Meanwhile, the wheel size will be 21 inches at the front and 18 or 17 inches at the rear. As we can see, the rims will be spoke rims and it is likely that it is wearing a tube tire, the swing arm is probably aluminum. In addition, the front brake is a double disc and the caliper looks like an axial mount with two calipers, while the suspension stroke is not as long as that of a full-fledged off-roader, but it should be around 180 to 200 millimeters, which allows you to drive long distances without worrying about rough roads. The headlight seems to be a vertical LED and its shape closely resembles that of the CB500X, while the tail lamps and blinkers the same as the Africa Twin. As we can see, the large rear carrier doubles as a grab bar, and its shape seems to be stronger than that of the Africa Twin, as its name, which has the origin of Alps Crossing, is equipment that suggests long touring performance. In addition, the seat is a step type that connects the front and back, and it seems to be more comfortable than the Africa Twin, and the fuel tank seems to have a fairly large capacity. The riding position is upright, and knuckle guards are standard equipment, and the slightly standing screen seems to be highly windproof. Stay healthy, brothers. Hope you enjoyed this video.